Hello everyone! Today we have a new unit, Unit 8. The title of this unit is Time to Spare. And we have the first lesson, which is Deep into Darkness. It's a reading lesson. In this unit, you will know how to spend your spare time in a beneficial way. You also will know many kinds of activities that you can do in your free time. One of these activities is caving. It's very dangerous. But before we start, let's watch a video about it. People used to think that caves were devoid of life, that there was nothing in there. But it turns out they're actually teeming with microorganisms. They're one of the most ancient forms of life on our planet. They can survive some really extreme conditions. If we can isolate these chemical compounds, we can use them in the fight against disease. Okay, as you watch it in this video, you know that caving is very dangerous and cavers face harsh situations and they have to adapt with these conditions. And also you have to know that there are some adolescents dream of doing such dangerous activities but others don't have the ability to do it. So here let's start with some new words. Unit 8. Time to spare. Deep into darkness. The first word as you see in this picture it's a drawing okay and drawing is my favorite hobby so we can give me a synonym of the word hobby yes right past time past time so past time is a noun and it means hobby or activity that gives pleasure for example, drawing is my favorite pastime. So this is the first word. Then here, the second word. It's something like a torch or a lamp, but I think we can wear uh, wear it in uh, on our heads. So a lamp mounted on a headband so as to leave the hands free. We can get the word yeah it's headlamp headlamp and it's a noun for example flab on your headlamp we have this word flab on here as you see in this picture he is a caver and he's wearing a headlamp on his head and he has to flab it on in order to see what's inside the cave so we have the word turn on it means flip on it's a phrasal verb flip on for example the leader asked them to flip on their headlamps then this word look here the these walls are damaged because of wear and here the glass is wet because there are many drops of water on it so the word wet has a synonym which is can you guess it? yeah damp damp for example 
The walls of the caves are damp. The next word here, as I told you that someone or the person who explore caves and travel around the world to in order to discover caves are called cavers. So people who explore caves are called cavers. Cavers. For example, cavers travels the world exploring caves. Then the next word. Oh my God, there is there was an accident, and I think that this person has been hurt or killed. That's called victim. 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 It's a noun. For example, the new drug might help save the lives of cancer victims. Then here, all of you know Ahmed Helmi and he is my favorite comedian. Also, he is suitable for acting co comedy films. So we have the word suitable for, which means cut out for. Cut out for. It's a phrasal verb. For example, Helm is cut out for being a comedian. The next word here, smile and the world smiled with you. That means when you smile, the world smiles, smiles as well. It's a short phrase that expresses a plea, means maru. Maru. It's a noun. For example, her Morris work hard, play hard. Yes, here, photography is my favorite hobby, but I stopped for a long time and I want to begin again or to start. That means take up. Take up. It's a phrasal verb. For example, I took up photography after I stopped for a long time. The next word, it's a sea animal, okay, it's, it looks like lobsters, so can you guess its name? Freshwater animal that look like lobsters, crayfish, crayfish, so now, the next word is here, Okay, as you, as you see in this picture, the weather is cold and this girl is wearing warm clothes in order to adapt, adapt or cope with the cold weather. So this word we have get used to something that means adapt, adapt, which means cope with. For example, we wear warm clothes and drink hot chocolates to adapt to the cold weather. It's an amazing place. It makes you feel relaxed. You can go there in your free time or leisure. Leisure. For example, what do you do in your leisure time? Yeah, as you see in this picture, it's a competition, and as I told you in the previous unit, the people who take part in the competition are called contestant. Contestant. And this word has many synonyms, like rivals, opponents, comparers. For example. Contestants have come from all over the country. Then here, all of us need air, water, and food. They are necessities. Necessities. That means very important and necessary. Next word. Here. Yes. They are 
having fun and they are thrilled so something that makes you feel excited and happy means exhilarating 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 for example a storm chasing is very exhilarating or thrilling yeah here the water flows down in the river so to move easily in one direction or quickly in one direction direction that means flow it's a verb flow for example the water is flowing down in this river here it's a kind of rocks it's white or a light gray we can use it in building and it it's made of cement we took this word the previous term yeah can you guess it excellent limestone limestone a white or or light gray rock that that's used in building and made of cement then here the cavers cannot stand because the cave is low and is very not and very narrow so he crawls crawl the verb crawl crawl move slowly in the hands on the hands and knees for example the cavers crawled inside the narrow caves then here as you see that the cavers move up by using your his legs and or hands that means climb climb for example the cavers climb the mountain to explore caves then here <clears throat> as you see this root has many tents and uh, twists and bends in it so to move along a root that has many twists or bends means snake snake for example people spend hours waiting in line that snakes around the stadium to get tickets okay. here <clears throat> as you see that they're uh, cavers and they're inside the caves they wanted to discover discover something inside the cave so we have this word to travel around an area to learn about it or to discover it that means explore and it's a verb explore for example cavers mission is to explore and photograph cave caves yes here as you see in this picture there's a, a blue ball amongst many white balls so to be in the middle or surrounded by other things that mean amongst amongst for example we don't have an, an example for this word here make a good first impression we have the word impression okay and it means an idea or opinion of what something or someone is like impression for example his designs made a great impression on the judge and he won the prize then who can remind me of the the, the adjective of this word impression the adjective yes it's impressive impressive that means admirable admirable impressive admirable okay the police did an impressive job in keeping the fence calm then here we have spare time or free time or leisure time 
Which activity do you practice in your spare time? Then here, before we start our lesson, let's revise the words quickly. Here, I will give you the definitions and try to think about the try to think about the word. Okay, are you ready? Turn on. Turn on means flip on. Something like a lamp, and we can use it. Uh, inside the cave and we can wear it on our heads yes excellent headlamp another word happy yes past past time another word people who explore caves Cavers, great. Cavers. Another word, syllable. Four. Yes, you're right. Cut out four. Cobweb. Cobweb. Amazing. Adapt. Excellent. Okay, a synonym of rivals. Yes, you're right. Contestants. Excellent. Now, let's... All of you open your people's book page number 96. Okay. Here we have the first exercise, exercise A. We have some popular activities. You have to put them in the order of popularity. From 1, the most popular, to 10, the least popular. We have listening to music, shopping, reading, watching TV, eating out, going for a day out, exercising, going to clubs, going to the cinema. Spending time with friends and family. So you have put them in the order of popularity from 1 the most popular to 10 the least popular. I'll give you one minute to order them. Yeah, the answers. 1. Spending time with family or and friends. 2. Listening to music. 3. Watching TV. 4. Shopping. 5. Going to the cinema. 6. Going to the clubs. 7. Exercising. 8. Eating out. Number 9. Going out for a day. Number 10. Reading. Please write them down in your book. Then let's turn it to the second exercise, exercise B. Here we have a passage and we have three sentences. You have to read this passage first, then the sentences. Let's read the passage together. Storm chasing is a very unusual past time space and instead you watch and take photos of storms people who enjoy this activity and observe are called the storm stage chaser space then they drive to the area and observe uh, observe the severe weather so we have a they try to predict where storms will happen b this in includes hurricanes and tornadoes. C. It's like going on safari but you don't observe animals. Here we have three sentences. You have to put them in the suitable place. And you have to tell me 
the the these uh, what do these underlying words refer to so one minute to think about the answer yeah number one is c it's like going on safari and it's the word it's refer to refers to storm chasing number two a they try to predict where storms will happen and the word they refers to storm chaser number three b and this includes hurricanes and tornadoes and the word this refers to the th that to the severe weather then let's turn it to exercise c we have a text here and we have a title for this text please skim it quickly and try to find the answer of this question where do you think this activity is taking place one minute to skim it quickly and please highlight the word that we've just taken highlight it with your highlighter okay so the answer it's taking place inside a cave inside a cave then we have exercise d in this exercise we have five sentences that have been removed from the text read the text and try to put each sentence in the suitable place but before we read before reading the text let's read these sentences letter a this keeps their hands free to climb and crawl. B. His name is Stephen Alvarez. C. He could have found them in many different shapes and, and sizes. D. After all, what good would they be when there is no light? E. That's way team members can look out for one another. F. A careless caver can destroy in minutes what took thousands of years to form. Okay, let's read the, the text. The first passage here, we have only one gap. Let's read it together. Okay, and please highlight the word that we've just taken. Let's join a caver who can give us a tour. Space. He traveled the world exploring and photographing caves. He has to climb mountains to reach some caves or to dive deep down in search of underwater caves. He has photographed some of Earth's most impressive caves, including the longest one, Mammoth Cave in the USA, which has 580 kilometers of tunnels and passages. Before answering number one, let me ask you here, what is the longest cave and where is it? Yes, your answer is right. The longest cave is Mammoth Cave and it's in the USA. And the answer, answer of, of number one is B, which is, his name is Stephen Alvarez. Let's turn to number the, the next passage here. Let's read it together. Underground danger. Alvarez is sometimes asked if, if caving is dangerous. It is. Caves are dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, he says. Staying safe is important. Alvarez goes into caves with other cavers, never by himself gap or space serious cavers prepare for all situations that means having the right equipments equipment you must wear a helmet to protect your head knee pads and gloves should be amongst your equipment too most cavers use headlamps to light the way they also carry extra torches experienced cavers are experts with ropes using ropes is one of the Elvis favorite things about caving 
before answering the two and three let me ask you here what do the cavers need to stay safe inside caves what do the save the cavers need to stay safe inside caves yes your answer is right they need helmet to protect their head heads knee pads gloves also they need headlamps and ropes think about the answers number two and three yes the answers here E number two E number three A so two E which is that way team members can look out for one another and number three A they keep their hands free to climb and crawl let's turn to this passage okay here we haven't any gaps or spaces and it's about decorations here let's read it together there are fantastic shapes to see in caves these shapes are called decorations and they are formed when rain water drips onto limestone examples of these are stalactites which hang down from a cave ceiling and stalagmites which grows upwards from the cave's floor but Alvarez says there are many others including some that look like popcorn and some that look like a nest of eggs here we have question so here how are the decoration in caves formed how are the decorations that's found in caves formed? Think about the answer. Yes, great. Here the answer. They are formed when rainwater drips onto limestone. Let's turn it to the next part here cave creatures let's read it and we have one gap beautiful caves decorations aren't all that you will see in caves animal live in caves too many of these have no eyes one type of, play, of blind crayfish can live for up to 105 five, 175 years the animals must have adapted to this unique environment thousands of years ago. Alvarez has seen eyeless fish and spiders because they can see. Most of these creatures have a highly developed sense of hearing, touch or, or smell. They use these senses to find their way along a path and to know what's nearby they can catch their food without, without ever seeing the victim. Before answering number four, please think about this question how did the animals find the way and find get their food inside the cave yeah the answer is here they use they have a highly developed sense of hearing touch or smell they use these sense to find their way and to catch their food without seeing the victim and the answer of number four is letter d which is after all what good would they be when there is no light here the last part caves cave threats explorers like Alvarez know how important it's to protect caves. 
pollution is one threat. Polluted water from farms or business can flow into caves, destroying decorations and killing animals. Humans investors can also be a threat. Space, that's why the motto of responsible cavers is take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. Okay, before answering number five, here, the question is, what is the caver's motto? What is the caver's motto? So, it's, uh, the motto is, what, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. And the answer of number five is F. A careless caver can destroy in minutes what took thousands of years to form. So, we finished all the test. Okay, then let's turn it to the last exercise. <clears throat> we have some verbs. Climb, crawl, explore, flow, snake. And we have some definitions. Try to write these verbs with the suitable definition. Number one, to space means to move easily in one direction. Number two, to space means to move up by using your legs and hands. Number three, to space means to move slowly along the ground on hands and knees. Number four, to space means to move along a route that has many twists or bends. To space, number five, means to travel around an area to learn about it. Think about the answer. It's what, yeah, the number one follow, flow, sorry, climb, two, crawl, snake, explore. Write the answers. We finished the lesson and here, thank you for your attention, but don't forget to do your homework in booklet page number 31 and 32. Break book page number 45. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.